Fate Soldier, the whole place is coming down. Yeah. The year was 2012, and we were all watching December's Spike Video Game Awards, when we first saw the reveal of a mysterious new title called The Phantom Pain, what appeared to be a survival horror game being developed by a mysterious Moby Dick studio. This is a Fox Engine logo in the corner, so this game is running on the Fox Engine. As for the clock to all these years later, and it's been a strange kind of thrill ride ever since. But have you ever asked yourselves, what if MGS5 remained the game it was originally teased to be? What if the Phantom Pain was actually a horror game, separate from Metal Gear? I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. You've created a time paradox. Don't mess with the future. A strong man. How's it going guys? It's Python Selkin here, and we're finally in that time of year again. Today we'll be stepping into a different perspective, or perhaps an alternate dimension of sorts. As we'll be looking at MVS5 from another side, if the Phantom Pain remained the horror game it was originally teased to be. Imagine if MGS5 had nothing to do with Big Boss, or any of the snakes, and we're all just playing this new game we know nothing about. The Phantom Pain would put us in the shoes, or well, barefoot, of a mysterious protagonist, awakening in a creepy hospital all the way in an unknown country, very far from home. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Awakening from what we're told is a nine-year coma, and somehow burning for revenge, we feel like we're someone important, but what we remember are only blurred memories, with nothing really factual on what we were doing in that hospital. Nine years ago, you were injured in an explosion. This is you as you've lived until this day. The only thing we know is that bizarre occurrences are happening around every corner, as we're hunted by a merciless group of elite soldiers, a demon-looking man on fire and the floating kid rising straight into the ceiling. Just like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. And if that wasn't enough, apparently the whole world wants us dead. And it's not just them. The whole world wants you dead. we face death in the eye, a bandaged covered man appears out of nowhere to save us. A strange character who mysteriously happens to have our own voice. I've been watching over you for nine years. And who seems to be coming straight out of the psychological horror game, Sanitarium. Diagnosis crazy. How oh, horrible! What kind of place is this? What kind of place is this indeed? The Phantom Pay's opening sequence is one of the most oddly satisfying intros of all time, placing us right in the terror of being hunted by a deadly threat, as we're still getting on our feet, serving as a tutorial of sorts, whilst leaving us with plenty of fearsome sightings along the way. Sightings that make you ask whether you're actually seeing these things or imagining them, such as multiple appearances of the same character, a giant flaming whale, fire engine vehicles being thrown off into the sky, 
and the demon like man on fire riding a flaming horse to top it all off. The music and phrases used in the original reveal for the Phantom Pain are what's used to describe an actual horror game. But when it comes to these phrases, when you think about it, they can also apply not just for the disguise teaser, but for the rest of the game that will become MGS5. Our protagonist hallucinates dead characters. Do you have something to show me, Snake? Here's auditory hallucinations in the form of tapes. The real me? died a long time ago. Is confronted by Parasite and Han Super Soldiers, who are commanded by a villain with no face. Is hunted by a giant bipedal weapon that seems to have come from the future, instead of the 80s. Is chased by a demon-like enemy in a nightmare from somebody else's past. Not to mention encountering numerous victims undergoing experimentations with vocal cord parasites. And bizarre looking soldiers that effectively become zombies, both physically and mentally. Looking at most of the game from another perspective, Metal Gear Solid 5 could easily pass off as its own kind of horror perhaps the kind it was originally teased to be, as the Phantom Pain. As you may all know, elements of horror aren't much of a stranger for the Metal Gear series, but when it comes to MGS5, its concept of parasite experimentation, the haunting past, as well as the protagonist's brainwashing nature have allowed these elements to be taken to the next level. With that being said, what are your thoughts on all this? Did you enjoy the scary elements we got in MGS5? And would you have played the Phantom Pain as a separate horror game? If it was ever released as originally teased, let us know in the comment section down below. We we'll hope you enjoyed watching this video and we'd like to wish all our viewers an awesome spooky season and a happy Halloween. If you like this video and enjoy all things Metal Gear, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll make sure to return the favor with content you won't find anywhere else. Until we meet again, soldiers, Python and Selkin, out. Sad, so sad.